Today is Saturday, January 23, 2016. There were two referral cases from clients. Now this one is a 5 year old Jack Russell, which has skin disease, mainly actually on the lower part as you can see. And uh, the owner has seen four vets. But uh, after a while, the skin disease appeared again. Various diagnoses were made, food allergy, allergies, and uh, it was very hard for, for the vet to give a, a definitive diagnosis. Now, the dog had it from young, so at one year old, now, it's, now the dog is four years old. So the, I checked the ears, they were okay. The inner sex were okay, but you can see the owner has been applying cream and washes and, and given medication from the other vets, but yet the condition persisted. And uh, so I'm the fifth vet. He consulted going to a referral by one of the my old clients who 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 does catch stray dogs to, to sterilize them. So, what is the diagnosis of this case? Now, since medication has been given some for the last two or three years, or four years, so this, this, this uh, disease is uh, very very uh, costly to the owner who is a retiree and uh, so this time he came to me and uh, as you can see there are many ring room light lesions they come in ring so I did ultraviolet light and the fluorescence of the ring I showed to the owner as well as under the microscope so in this case, today, this dog is suffering from generalized ringworm and uh, it's been treated by the owner for the last four years. So what happened is the environment, the place where the dog lives and the towers were all contaminated with ringworm. So when, when it's cured, either through steroid or through some uh, uh, medication, by ketoconazole given by one vet the disease came back again so he, he goes to another vet so when a disease comes back he goes to the third vet and then the fourth vet so there was no time for review by any of the four vets and also none of them according to him told him, told, told him that the dog had ringworm although they do skin scraping and uh, checking uh, now this second case, this second case is an 11-year-old Shih Tzu who was the, referred to me by the owner of the Shetland with the head, right head tilt. Now she, she has seen the vet for many times and uh, they prescribed ear drops which she says that there was no use, it didn't help and uh, the dog keep on shaking the head and rubbing the the ears. Now the right ear is very bad. Right ear is very bad. And uh, there are tumors, nodules inside the ear canal, as you can see. There are nodules inside. So the whole ear is blocked. Whole ear is blocked and uh, and the solution would be vertical ear canal ablation. Now I I I'll try and focus focus and see this is an 11 year old Shih Tzu he doesn't like people to touch his ears yeah. come okay okay I can see the nodules nodules inside the ear canal see the nodules and uh, he's quite sensitive in the ears so this one the solution is is to uh, Okay, the solution is to remove the vertical canal 
It's called vertical ear canal ablation and that will solve the problem of these uh, dog's smelly ears and scratching. So this is, there is a surgical solution. But the best always recommend the, uh, always recommend the uh, ear drops. Now as for this, this uh, dog with ringworm, as you can see, I need to sedate him because he was very nervous and to do a good shave and then the owner will apply the antifungal wash and, and uh, every three days or every two days and take medication and cream and in, in most of my cases they do recover but the environment must be kept clean the towers, bedding and other other uh, places where the dog sits, sleeps on for this normal contact Okay. So these are the two cases seen today. Sub Saturday, sub uh, January twenty third, two zero one six. Both are referrals from clients. Papa Yves, Singapore.